get mad at our returning contestant and registered nurse, Sweetie Richardson, not even the sheriff's deputy who pulled her over for speeding. You were speeding. I was speeding. And deputies don't fool around. No, they don't. So what happened? Well, I didn't even have to talk my way out of the ticket because he took one look at my license when I gave it to him and he said, well, I really can't give you a ticket because with a name like Sweetie, you can't be all bad. <laughs> Wow, wow. So it's a very lucky day. <laughs> so your name is paid off. That's true. <laughs> but here it doesn't help much. No. I can't no. give you an extra lifeline. No. Nope. But you haven't really <laughs> needed any help because you're at 50,000. You're four away from the million and you deserve a lot of applause. You have a lifeline left. And you're working toward the Capital One check for a million dollars. So, so far, everything's pretty sweet. <laughs> are you ready to play? Yes. Audience, are you ready to play? <laughs> and let's play Millionaire. This is for $100,000. Who participated in the first televised debate between U.S. vice presidential candidates? Schreiber and Agnew? Mondale and Dole? Mondale and Bush, Ferraro and Bush. I think I'd like to use my fourth lifeline and switch the question out, please. Not a problem. Let's see what it was, what the answer was, correct answer. Mondale and Oh, Dole. I wouldn't know. <laughs> good, if you wouldn't have even gone good. there, that's yep. terrific. That was good. We're gonna switch out of this one, computer, please, for another question valued at 100,000. $100,000. Famed guide for the Lewis and Clark expedition, Sacagawea was born into what Native American tribe? Shoshone, Chippewa, Sioux, Seneca. Got him narrowed down to two. It's not going to help me right now, though. What are you thinking it is? Meredith, I'm thinking that I've had an absolutely fabulous time on this show. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a wonderful experience. I think I have to take a little walk. <laughs> Is that a final, sweetie? That's my final answer. Well, I do not blame you. I'm going to give you your check for $50,000. The answer was Shoshone. That's how you know now what it was. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> from Waltham, Massachusetts. Hi, Ogie, right? Yes, nice Ogie, I'm a big fan of Oh, thank you. How are you doing, Ogie? I'm doing great. This is a great audience. Isn't Fantastic. this cool? <laughs> you studied the human brain by day, so yes. obviously you're a smart guy, and you're smart enough to know the rules and the lifelines of this game, so if you're ready, we'll play. Let's are do it. Are you ready? Okay, All let's right. do it. Let's play. <laughs> Okay, for $100, due to the geographical areas they represented, the opposing sides of the U.S. Civil War were known by what names? The hills and the valleys, the cities and the farms, the north and the south, the cool and the gang. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I tell you, the first five questions, it's like backing your car out of the driveway. You've done it a million times, it should be no problem, but... Once in a while, you run over your mailbox. So <laughs> I just want to make sure I don't run over the mailbox. But I think this is the North and the South. Final answer. You cleared the mailbox. All you right. got it for one hundred dollars. Go for two hundred. What type of farm animal has a smallish, pot-bellied breed that are often raised as household pets? Chicken, pig, mule, sheep. I say pig. Final answer. It's the old pot belly pig. You have it for $200. Going to 300 In the titles of two nursery rhymes, what adjective describes both Mother Hubbard and King Cole? Rich, friendly, old, funny. Old King Cole. So we'll go with old. No answer. It is old. You have it again. In the event of a tornado, what part of the house is usually said to be the safest? 
kitchen, attic, master bedroom, basement. I'd say D, the basement. It's the safest part, absolutely. This is for $1,000 now, Ogie. As suggested by the food company he launched, Chef Hector Boyardee specialized in what cuisine? Italian, French, Middle Eastern, Mexican. Italian, final answer. I've had a lot of them. You have it for $1,000. You're fully out of the driveway now, and you're yes. headed onto the road. On going, the highway. You're on the highway. Going stay for, out of the ditch now. <laughs> <laughs> going for $2,000. Which of these recent U.S. presidents was serving as the vice president when elected? Jimmy Carter, Ronald Reagan, George H.W. Bush, Bill Clinton. Clinton and Carter were certainly not vice presidents. Neither was Reagan. Bush was... Reagan's vice president. I know it seems obvious, but when you're sitting here, <laughs> you want to make sure you don't uh, hit the mailbox. So I'm going to say C. George Bush, final answer. You have it for $2,000. This is for $4,000. A signer of the Declaration of Independence. Reverend John Witherspoon is a direct ancestor of an Oscar winner for what 2005 film? Seriana, Capote, Walk the Line, Brokeback Mountain. I can see it's Reese Witherspoon. But I'm not uh, so great with pop culture. My friend Ella is great with pop culture, but uh, Ella's on vacation right now, so. Mm. I guess I'll just have to guess what Ella would say. Well, do you know any of these movies? Well, I guess it's, uh, C, Walk the Line, final answer. She played June, June Carter. She was great. Cash. She got a few more times. Morgan's got $4,000. Going for $8,000. We come back with more of more. when you came out here that you are studying the brain now That's who right. is paying for your education I'm very fortunate in that the Department of Homeland Security is paying for my education at Boston University really now yes. why would they be involved with what you're doing well the kind of work I do at uh, in my department uh, it's in brain science one of the projects I'm working on now is color vision we try to figure out how the brain does color vision and they're trying to develop software for satellites so to improve their ability to detect things from the air oh, and then we could use that to protect us exactly Pretty smart. I figured that one out. Okay. <laughs> you're doing a good job. Well, Ogie, you're demonstrating your brain power here because you haven't had to use one lifeline. You're only eight questions away from the million. Go for $8,000. Are you ready to keep going? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. Let's play. <laughs> this is for 8000 again, Ogie. According to legend, the honeymoon is named for a custom in which couples imbibed what honey-based drink for a month after the wedding? Mead, ale, brandy, rum. Rums, sugar cane, brandy is wine. Ale, I think, is just beer, which is hops. Mead. Honey, or so I hope. <laughs> because I'm going to say A mead, final answer. Hope springs eternal for you. You got it right for eight thousand dollars. This is for sixteen thousand. Cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad that incensed Arab communities were first published in two thousand five in what country? Germany, Denmark, Italy, France. <clears throat> this question is the kind of question my friend Gena would know. Is she knows. on vacation too? He's, 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 he's in Russia on vacation right oh, now. Okay. So uh, once again, I'll try to figure out what he would say if I could talk to him. 
let's say uh, B, Denmark. Final answer. I don't know if he'd say it, but you said it. You're right oh, for sixteen thousand. Yeah. For twenty-five thousand in that fourth lifeline, ethylene glycol is the sweet-tasting but poisonous active ingredient frequently found in what chemical product? Rubbing alcohol, lighter fluid, hairspray, antifreeze. It's not lighter fluid. It's not hairspray. Rubbing alcohol is ethyl alcohol. Oh, sweet tasting. Okay, I guess it's got to be uh, D antifreeze. Final answer. That's why it's so important to keep the pets away from it. You're absolutely right. of our studio audience. We are back with Ogie Ogis from Waltham, Massachusetts. That was your reaction when you get the last question correct. What was so funny was in the break, right after you did that, one of the producers said, do you know how much you have? You had no idea how much money you had. No That's idea right. you no had clue. all your lifelines. No, not Well, whatever you're doing, you're doing it very, very well. well I mean, thank you're, you. You play the game extremely smartly. You've got, as I said, the 25000 without having to use any lifelines. And I'm not luck. trying to change you. A lot of luck. No, it's also brains. It's, and it's whatever questions you happen to get. But I know that you and your wife, you're a little strapped right now. You That's don't right. have a lot of cash. Did you talk to her about this at all in terms of how much you're going to be willing to gamble along the way? Or? Well, I'm, I'm here to play, so I'm going for the big money. I mean, well, you are. Okay. It's, it's, it's good. All right. Yeah. Well, Ogie, so far, it's paying off. Let's see if that continues. Five away, going for 50000 You have that fourth lifeline. Are you ready to keep playing? Absolutely. Okay, let's play. <laughs> This is for $50,000. Which of these well-known national organizations does not feature the word association in its full title? ASPCA, YMCA, NAACP, NCAA. Young Men's Christian Association, National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, National Collegiate, I'll go back to that one. Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. What does that A, first A stand for? NCAA. National Collegiate Athletic Association. A. Final answer. ASPCA. $50,000, four away from the million, and you have every lifeline. Yeah. This is fantastic. Just fantastic, Ogie. I just want to thank the audience. Thank you so much. I, I mean, really helped. <laughs> <laughs> well, you may really need their help later on, so yeah. it's nice you have that lifeline going for $100,000. In a classic scene from The Seven Year Itch, Marilyn Monroe's skirt flies up around her as she asks what provocative question? See anything you like? Isn't it delicious? Wanna join me? Aren't you excited? I tell you, I've got absolutely no idea. And I've still got the audience, so uh, I'm gonna ask this great audience, which has been so supportive of me so far. No problem, audience. Oh, he finally needs a little help. If you're ready, vote now. Mm. Exactly. 40% see anything you like. 38% say, isn't it delicious? 
13 for want to join me and 9% aren't too excited. These are not great numbers. All right. I do have one friend that actually is home. <laughs> His name's Garam Sai. And the good thing about him, well, there's two reasons I want to call him. One is that uh, he's a genius on a computer. The second <laughs> is uh, his father is a swami in Bombay. And Millionaire is actually a very big show in India, as far as what I'm told. One of the top shows uh, there. And so all of his followers have gone to the temple and laid down fruit and flowers uh, just for my friend Sai and for him to do well <laughs> uh, if I do call him. So hopefully. Oh. Trying to get all those bases covered, exactly. So I'd like to call. Sai. Give me his name again. I'm sorry. Sai. Sai. Yes. Okay, we're gonna get Sai on the line. Hello. Hey, Sai. It's Meredith from Millionaire. How are you? Good, Meredith. How are you? I am great. You know that I'm here with Ogi. I do, yes. And he is, uh, I mean, you know how smart he is, but he's quite something. He's going for $100,000 here. Okay. And now he finally needs some help. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have 30 seconds. Okay, your time starts now. Quote, seven-year itch quote. Quote, see anything you like, quote, or, quote, isn't it delicious, quote, or, quote, want to join me, quote, or, quote, Aren't you excited? Quote. Okay. Which one of those is in the movie Seven Year Itch? See anything you like? Isn't it delicious? Want to join me? Aren't you excited? Isn't it delicious? Did you hear what he said? Yeah, I yeah. Said. I heard what he said. What do you think he said? I just want to make sure. Isn't it delicious? So okay. I can either, uh, I don't know if he was asking to repeat it or if he was giving oh, me a on-the-buzzer answer. I could use the 50-50, but uh, I want the million, so uh, I'm going to go with uh, Sai Swami Dad and hope that that Swami uh, action in India is coming my way. So uh, I'm going to say B, isn't it delicious? Final answer. Paraphrasing, but Swami, how I love you, how I love you. You're better than that. Okay, has one hundred thousand, going for two hundred fifty thousand dollars. check for $100,000, and we're all starting to go a little crazy in here. It's very, very exciting. Yeah, I'm a nervous wreck. You are? Yes, yeah, absolutely. You seem okay. Oh, yeah? Well, yeah, no, you seem okay. I think I've fallen out of the chair twice now. <laughs> well, no, I said, we're getting you actually a seatbelt, but that's not the point. We're all so excited for you. This oh, is you. just a great moment. Three questions away from the million. As we said before, you guys, you and your wife can really use the money oh, right now. You're going for $250. Thousand dollars. Good luck, Ogie. Thank you, you ready? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's oh, yeah. play. For two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, retail giant Richard Sears began his career in 1886 when he started a company that sold what? Watches, shoes, paint, farming tools. Watches. Final answer. You have two hundred and fifty thousand. Two away. Two lifelines left. We don't want to go, but that darn buzzer says that we have to. I'm sorry, but you guys. 